Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama and today is Sunday, July 2nd and I did just put up a video about um, my father's home being burned and him in the hospital. I'm not going to talk about it because it's going to make me cry so please check that out. Um, we are suspecting arson but anyways, um, it's very sad um, but my dad is doing well. So I am trying to keep my mind off of things and so I thought let me do these hauls that have been sitting here forever so that I can finally put them away. Like, I keep saying, okay, I'll just use them. Like, I just won't worry about the haul. And I'm lying because then I'm like, no, I really want to haul it. So I'm going to haul it. I mean, some of this stuff is from forever ago, but we're going to go through with it. So I went to my Hobby Lobby because everybody was saying that um, fall was out and stuff. Oh, they said Christmas. That's what I was looking for. And... I could see the small little bits of Christmas being put out. I think this was last week. And I was like, oh, please, because there's certain things that I'm looking for for the Christmas stuff. And so I was like, oh, like, I don't know. And let me just tell you that, like, um, if I've had a bad day or something, just like the whole of Christmas kind of, a lot of people say it's hustle and bustle, it's this, but when you walk into like a Hobby Lobby or something and they're playing that music and like you smell that smell, it is just so calming for me. So I had gone in there, they had a little bit of Christmas up, but then of course I had to find the um, clearance section, right? So they had so many, so many of their paint brushes on clearance. I already took one out of here, so it's open. But this you see is normally $15.99 and it is art brush set, acrylic and watercolor, the fine touch, and it's 10 pieces. It has these beautiful brown handles um, and it tells you like what you do with all of them back there. They all do the same thing for me, they paint. But I got them. This is the package for it, but again, um, I wanted to use one and so they were $2.99 for all of these guys. $2.99 and for good ones, like I said, I mean, they're nice ones. But the handles are so long, I was like, um, like I was looking at one of them, the one I was using and I'm like, I don't know if people think they have control from back here, y'all, I have to be right here on something like, so anyways, um, yeah, but for 10 of those for $2.99, I thought that was an amazing deal. They had so many things on clearance, I had to stop myself. I didn't get a whole lot, but man, did I want to. So, no, don't, don't, don't thud. So these were half off, and these are the Bee Design Company 10-piece. Um, they're like the little cabochons, I think they're called, that are flat back. Normally $4.99, so I got them for $2.50. But I got these specifically because when I went there to Hobby Lobby, Again, I was looking for the Christmas stuff. I wanted to find the, um, what was I, like? sorry, I, was, I had a knot right there. No, sir, you're gonna knock over my whole video. You don't need to come over here. Um, like, you know, they have the little, um, kind of like candy things like this, but they're ornaments. Um, and they, I don't know. So I didn't know that they had these ones, but I was looking for like, I was excited for Christmas to come out because I was looking for these in the Christmas section because um, I'm going to make, the, the don't take her toy um I'm going to make um like a tray I just want to see how it works with candy I want to put real candy in it and make it like this big sugar candy tray and put your sweet as can be or something I don't know um and so I wanted like little flat back things for the outside of the tray so I could put it in anyway so yeah I'm gonna just put a bunch of candy down on a thing like glue it down and then pour resin over the top of it and make it as a tray I saw somebody do it. I loved it. I love candy. I love pink. So anyways, I was specifically looking for these in the Christmas section, but I'm sure that they were probably cheaper this way. So there's 10 of them and they were only $2.50. That's why I got those. Um, this I did just get, it was $2.49, but the tape glue runner. And so if you all have seen, I get the double-sided tape. Wait, is this the same thing? Instant bond. No mess. Is it, it says tape glue runner. What does that mean? Um, hold on. So at the Dollar General, they have the double-sided tape that I get and it's um, $1 and I love it because you're just, like, I know it's probably not the best value like Dollar Tree, but you all, I am not, like, you have to take it off, then you have to press it down right there, then you have to take the top, no, I need like, drrr, drrr, drrr. yeah, I need it fast. So, but now I'm thinking, so anyways, this was $2.49 permanent, but this is refillable and it's a tape glue runner. So that's a double-sided tape, right? Easy to refill, press applicator onto material at angle, hold firmly down, applicator, da, 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 lift applicator, da, whatever. 
I think so, right guys? Yeah, it's the same thing. That's what I'm looking for, a double-sided tape. And this is refillable and it was $2.49. So I got that. Because I wanted to see if it worked as good. So that's $2.49. I don't know how much the refills are for it. But again, I get the ones for a dollar from Dollar General. So I just want to see how that adds up. I want to get the best of my laziness, the best feel of my laziness I can possibly get. So let's see. Then I did pick these up. $2.99 um, Paper Studio was um, half off. So I paid $1.50. But I got these because they are already painted blue for me. And there is 30 in here. And as I'm sure I've said a million times I'm going to be a grandma in November and the baby's um, baby shower is at the end of this month, July. And um, I want to make, if you have seen them, it's like you put a like a crate kind of on the bottom and then you put like two rods or whatever out the side and then like something hanging over the top. And it's like you hang all the baby's clothes on there kind of thing. Um, but I wanted to make like a littler version of like with the smaller baskets, like the smaller crates that you get from Dollar Tree and then put like two rods up the side and then just put like a string across kind of like a clothesline and then hang little socks on it with this for maybe some of like the little centerpieces. I don't know. So that was my idea. So I needed some clothespins for that. So I got these again. There is 30 and I paid a dollar fifty. Um this was all oh they weren't half off. These were all on clearance. Oh my gosh you guys they have so many on clearance. I think I had like $30 worth and I was like whoa lady you have to back it down. So I had to put a lot back. This is um, seven inches and it doesn't say, I don't know what it is except for beautiful. It's normally $8.99 and I picked it up for $2.24. So this is like the stringed jewelry. What are you focusing on? Anyways, uh, it's so pretty. So I got that. This is normally $6.99. It's three inches by seven inches and I got it for $1.74 and there's three of them. And I got those. Actually, let me show you why I got those. I started out with getting something else. And one is, def oh, it's not gone. Yes, it is. One is definitely not in here. Goodness knows where it went. I don't know where it went. But there was definitely another thing. So anyways, I started out by getting these. And these are Poetic Spirits by B Treasures, three pieces. And they were normally $3.99. And I picked them up for $2 because they were 50% off. And these are very like native and stuff to me. And so I was trying to pick up different things that kind of had these colors and yeah, that I that would go with them for like more native. But there was another one that I had that was different that I really was going off of and I can't find it right now. So I'll have to show you later. Um, so anyways, then I picked up these three, let's see, seven inches, normally $12.99, it was $3.24. It kind of reminded me of like a turquoise type thing. So I thought that would be kind of native. They're like rocks. So I got that. This one, um, normally $4.99. They're wood. I picked them up for $1.24. And they're in three different sizes. And I liked the grayish color because, again, I thought they would go very well with my little native selection I'm making here. And then this one right here is 7 inches, normally $10.99. It was $2.74. And these are like... Um, I don't know what kind of rocks I'm thinking of. I'm trying to get out of the way. Um, like astro rocks or something? I don't know. Like, do you see the craters and stuff in them? Like moon rocks, I think. So I thought they were super cute and that they would go amazing with um, um, like native kind of things. I don't know. Okay, so that's all in that kind of area. And then I picked this up. Um, 200 pieces. They're just the premium acrylic gemstones by... B Design Company, again, B Design Company was 50% off, so these were only $1, which is an amazing deal, I think. I don't know. I just think it was, so I picked those up for a dollar. And then I saw these, and these are by Traditions. Um, they are four pieces, and they're normally $4.99. I picked them up for $1.24, and they're octopuses, but I loved those colors. I, I hope everything is not blurry. I don't know what it's focusing on. Anyways, so those were $1.24. Those are beautiful. And then um, I did pick this up. It is an iron ornament. It's a key ring kind of thing. And it's already macrame. I think it's super cute. Um, normally $3.99. I picked it up for $0.99. Cents. And I picked it up because I just think that I can add some stuff to the end of this or something. I don't know. So it was only $0.99. Cents. If it had an orange tag, no. I was going to say if it had an orange tag, I was grabbing it. But there was so much that day I did not grab it all. Um, this right here is... Um, 
it says seven bracelets. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it has seven. But um, these are those very, very little, little things that drive me crazy. And I definitely have learned I do not take them off of these anymore and just stick them into a, um, a container because, man, mm -mm. So anyways, um, I just love these colors because, again, I felt like it went with the colors um, on the other thing. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like they kind of went together. Not at all, really, but, you know, whatever. Um, so I just, the colors, this one was my favorite. So normally $11.99, and I picked this up for $2.99. I think that's a super good deal. And then the last thing for right now, because I know something is missing, but the last thing for right now that I picked up is um this was the jewelry shop so it was half off i think it might not have been. i think it was half off yeah so i've paid um two dollars and 25 cents and there was a hundred pieces and they're the head pins and i picked these up because i've been doing like these charm kind of things but then i was like oh my gosh it's like a chunky charm and so i went to tony at creative chica halls crafts and more and i think it was like last year or something first i was cleaning out my garage and i found the chunky charm she made me which i absolutely love so I know it's right there somewhere. So I brought it out. Let me just see real quick. Hold on, guys. Is it right here? If it's not, I'll leave it alone. But it's not right here. But anyway, so she had made me, I won like a giveaway or something like a while ago. I'm sorry, I was dedicated to finding it, but I don't see it. Um, I had won a giveaway a while ago and she had made me a chunky charm and I loved it and just kind of like, oh, it was cute. And now I'm doing like the beads and stuff and I was like, what I want to make. It's a chunky charm or a charm, whatever you want to call it. So I went back to her video of how she makes it. So I had to go pick up the head pins. Long story for like six things I bought. But that is my Hobby Lobby haul. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. These videos will be posted throughout this week. Again, today is July 2nd, but um, they will be posted throughout the week. And I will keep you guys updated as to when I will be heading to Missouri um, to go visit my dad. Um, I won't be going until he gets out of this coma and um, to see what the house looks like. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for continuing to support me even though I just go nowhere all the time. And um, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.